<laughs> Hello, Americans. Just other friends, subscribers around the world. So this uh, first time I've been on this mountain back road. Uh, so far this year, going on the back side of one of our fences. They came through. They have a crew that came through and uh, did a bunch of you can see out the uh, thinned it. And uh, it's funny, man. It's me and Kitty, bold man, going down it. And it's like, wow, I think this road's worse. But really, I think it was just the trees were so thick and it was shaded. You just couldn't see how bad it really is, man. This one gnarly, uh, one gnarly road, man. This is the same one. If you look back on the video, this is the same one that uh, me and Uncle Earl went down and knocked the pole, yanked the, because I had that shell thing on here and yanked the rack. If you look down through there, so here's the fence. That's just part of our fence. So crazy thing, uh, we're up here walking the fence, as you can see, on the back side, and this is one of our most plush um, huckleberry patches. You can see them all through here, everywhere. So we're down here eating them lower. And the crazy thing, or kind of wild thing, is um, they, uh, this morning before I left, I don't know if the message came in yesterday or last night or this morning, but uh, somebody in eastern Idaho was saying that the moths, the ones that are getting our trees, are uh, has devastated the huckleberry patches in eastern Idaho. I told them, oh man, I ain't seen that. We, uh, you know, we've man, been picking some of the biggest, ripest ones we've seen yet. And lo and behold, the same day that message comes in, look at all these caterpillars. Can you point them out? Can you see them? Yeah. And these are the same, I'm pretty sure, the, aren't these the same ones, the yeah. moths that are killing yeah, the trees too? Down here too. Yep. And up here. If you can see, the leaves are all eaten. And they'll give you a rash if you let them. See how the leaves have been eaten? Yeah. And then if you look behind me, yep, the whole all those. Look at all the moth, oh, or they're tree. moths is what they are, but they're and moth canopy. Beyond the canopy yep. of that tree, this up by those whole rocks, huckleberry patch is these? completely devastated. And what I'm really concerned about now is that as soon as they're done with the huckleberries, they're going to the hit the trees. Well, the and caterpillars is, are eating the huckleberries. It's the moths that eat the trees, right? Man, that's that. I don't know. Look at right here. So you got them working on this one here, see? Yep. And then right here, this is what they'll do to it. And I can see one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there are, there's dozens of them. Yeah, just right there where you just pointed just the camera. Just infested. Oh, too bad. So that, my friends, is not. And all up there, look at all of the dead. Oh, yeah, they're just everywhere. i got to zoom back out. So just, yeah, just devastating. Oh, what do you do? Mm -hmm. Gotta come up with some natural thing to freaking uh, take care of them. But yet, but yet, they haven't got over here yet. Look at these uh, big old plump mothers. Okay, so we have a lot of people. I'll mention Yankee gates and stuff. And uh, if you don't know what a Yankee gate is, now the poles on these fences off the trees resemble a Yankee gate. But that ain't no Yankee Gate. Man, if you come along and you're on, um, you know, National Forest and stuff and you don't want to climb through, you look and you'll find two posts. A post like this and a post like that. You know, a gate. So then you got a Yankee Gate and all you do is pull the... And it should come off fairly easy, not... Because you try to pull the, one of the... That's what they call them, poles off of the tree, man. It's going to take everything you got. And then you can't put it back. Be a long way from the first vehicle. Mm -hmm. So then, man, you just push it back and it should go fairly easy. As I say that, I'm going to help. There you go. But you always, always want to, if you go through a gate, it's always closer. 
If you go through it and it's open, leave it open. If you go through it and it's closed, close it behind you. All right. That's just kind of the rule of the farm. We're going on the inside. We were supposed to have a uh, um, problem area. A problem area on this section right here, and we fixed quite a few things, but I haven't found the one that I got the call on. So now we'll find it on up here. Sure, that's a conk. It's so pretty. Wow, you got service. Yeah, because we're at what is this? Sixty-eight hundred feet. <laughs> yes, Miss Kitty. We really want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. We are at sixty-five ninety-one. Okay. Nearly sixty-six. Yeah, we just dropped down, so up there, 6,600 feet. Need to find us some lobster mushrooms. This is a, uh, oh, that ain't, back there with some stinging at them with that. Uh, no, this isn't. No, but there, it's crazy, kind of makes it look like it from a distance. Whoa, man, this is like a bayou here. We need to go around. We need to go around? Yeah, we're going to go back through the fence. Well, that's the area on the other side that we can go. Just want to look at this section to make sure. To film this one. Look at that one. That's a little swamp mushroom. A whole lot of bugs. So the one thing we uh, found as far as the moths and the caterpillars is on that. Have we found any caterpillars on this side of the creek? I haven't seen, I was wondering if I'd seen a few, but there uh, seems so far anyway that all the caterpillars, which means the moths, are on that side of the creek and not on this side of the creek yet. And hopefully not. Hopefully get some cold weather and kill them all off. Raising day up here. You is pears here. This That's what happens when you choke up on your fencing pliers. It hurts so bad. Because a calf could, probably wouldn't. A calf could. Oh, it's not through here. Mosquitoes standing still. Come this way. See if that helps. 
soon enough. But this big old bowl. See if I can get him a lost one. Big boy. But he was uh standing right in the middle of the road and as I pulled up and he's about as big as my truck <laughs> and as I pulled up he just looked at me and I said hey look at the size of them things between his legs that's a bull <laughs> And he's a big mother. So I sat here and I just waited for him to move. Patiently. So he gave me a nod, which meant, good boy. And he moved on. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big mother. There was another one. I haven't seen that one for a while. On Shell Rock Road. Remember that one, man? And he had horns, man. And he, he was bigger. That one was big. That other one, I'm telling you, man, if, and even that one, if, man, if they decided that they were going to beat up the green bean, they would tear this thing up. And, and needless to say, Kai usually gets a little crazy when uh, we pull up and there's cows. He did not make a peep. <laughs> so he too is like, Whoop, that's one big son of a... <laughs> uh, headed down. Somebody wanted me to show you where I left my phone down this bumpy, rocky road. She's so lucky. She gets out, she's all, oh my lord! <laughs> I'm driving along. And she says, I don't know where my phone is. I know I had it with me when we were walking the fence. And she gets out and there, there it lay right up there. I can't even believe that it uh, stayed there. You need a drink, boy. <laughs> and somebody asked if he can lay down. Yes, he has enough rope to lay down. out behind us you know I don't know how good I'll zoom in at the end of this but if you look out behind us you can see this new growth that's below that's the plush green and that's actually the area that was you know back when they used to clear cut because now Forest Service is doing selective harvest but that is where they you know replant and I don't know if you can see these moths flying around this tree and this tree's it's starting to turn the color too, so I think it's got the, the cat, you know, the caterpillars, obviously they're eating the huckleberries, and then once they cocoon up and turn into moths. They're eating the trees. Right. But at the plush uh, top of them, lower trees, like I said, I don't know if you can see it that well as I'm talking about it, but I'll zoom in here. But if you look beyond that, you can see all the brown, and that is all moth kill. 
And, uh, you know, we've been watching it for a while now, and it's getting worse and worse. And the Forest Service just doesn't even know what to do about it. So. But, man, you'll see these moths, and I remember, you know, I talked about it before, too. I remember as a kid watching them white moths fly around the top, and Grandpa telling us, you know, I mean, they're flying all over the... Uh, all around the tops of them trees. And I remember my grandpa telling me about that in the 70s because we had a big, I, mean, I think it's a, they say it's a 10 year cycle or something, but there's some other uh, bug or critter or whatever um, that Kevin was telling us about that they have no idea what to do. Yeah. It's a new one that came in from some other country or something, so. It just worries me. Worry, oh, oh, hey, you don't put a smile on oh, your face. You slapping that <laughs> yeah. mother man. <laughs> so, uh, so I'll zoom in here as we end the video. But uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. It helps keep the lights on, the home fires burning. Check out the links below in the eBay store. It helps keep the videos coming and uh, helps support the homestead. And good Lord willing, the creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya.